In this video, we will see how to evaluate logarithms without the use of a calculator. When we need to evaluate a logarithm, then in the given logarithm, we are given the base and the result, and we need to find the exponent, because finding a logarithm means finding the exponent. So, on all these exercises, we will be finding exponents, and before we start them, let's practice on evaluating these exponential expressions. The first expression is 4 squared, and this is 4 times 4, which equals 16. Next, we have 4 to the first power, and that is still 4. Then we have 4 to the 0 power, and that is 1, because any non-zero number raised to 0 is equal to 1. Next, we have 4 to the power of negative 1. Then, to evaluate it, we will start a fraction. We will move 4 down, and we will make the exponent positive. Then, we will get 1 over 4. The next expression also has a negative exponent. 4 to the power of negative 2 equals 1 over 4 to the power of positive 2, which equals 1 over 16. So, notice that in both these cases, when we raise 4 to a negative exponent, the result is a fraction. Now, what if we raise 4 to a fraction? For this, down here we have a definition. If a is raised to a fraction m over n, then we can write it in radical form, and that will be the nth root of a to the power of m. According to this definition, we can write 4 to the power of 1 half as square root of 4. So, 1 is the exponent of 4, and 2 is the index. Then, square root of 4 equals 2. Then, 4 to the power of 3 over 2, we can write it as square root of 4 to the third power. Now, 4 to the third power is 64, and square root of 64 is 8. Now, once we have some practice with the exponents, let's evaluate logarithms. The first one is log base 4 of 16. So, if the base is 4, then we need to ask, 4 to what power is equal to 16? That will be 2, because 4 to the second power equals 16. So, when we find a logarithm, we are finding an exponent to which the base must be raised to obtain this result. In the next example, we will evaluate log base 4 of 1. So, 4 to what power is equal to 1? Here to the left, we see that 4 to the 0 power equals 1. Therefore, log base 4 of 1 equals 0, because 4 to the 0 power equals 1. In the next example, we will evaluate log base 4 of 1 over 16. So, 4 to what power equals 1 over 16? Here to the left, we see that 4 to the power of negative 2 is 1 over 16. Therefore, log base 4 of 1 over 16 equals negative 2. And now, let's evaluate log base 4 of 8. From the left, we see that if we raise 4 to the power of 3 over 2, then we will get 8. Then, log base 4 of 8 equals 3 over 2. Now, I will show you also another way how we can evaluate this logarithm. So, we have to evaluate log base 4 of 8 and let its value be equal to x. To find what x is, we will rewrite this logarithmic equation into exponential form. So, we will raise base 4 to the x power, and we will get the result 8. So, again, 4 to the x power equals 8. And now, in the next step, we will use the one-to-one -one property for exponential functions. This property tells us that if we have the same base on both sides of an equation, then the exponents will be equal. So, if b to the power of x equals b to the power of y, then x equals y. 
To apply this property, we need to write this equation with the same base on both sides. Notice that on the left side, we can write 4 to the x power as 2 squared to the x power. Then on the right side, we can write 8 as 2 to the third power. Now to the left, we will apply the power rule and we will multiply 2 and x. Then we will have 2 to the 2x equals 2 to the third power. So now we have the same base on both sides and we can make the exponents equal. Then 2x equals 3 and if we divide both sides by 2, x will be equal to 3 over 2. And this is the same result we got above. Now let's evaluate a few more logarithms. Here the first one is log base 9 of square root of 3. So 9 to what power is square root of 3? To evaluate this logarithm, we can use the same method we used in the previous problem. So let this logarithm be equal to x. Then when we rewrite it in exponential form, we will get 9 to the x power equals square root of 3. And now notice that on the left side, we can write 9 as 3 squared all to the x power. And on the right side, we can write square root of 3 as 3 to 1 half. Then on the left side, 2 times x is 2x. Then we will have the following. 3 to the 2x equals 3 to 1 half. And now, because the bases are the same, we will make the exponents equal, and we will write that 2x equals 1 half. Then, if we divide both sides by 2, we will get that x equals 1 over 4. So, again, here on the right, if we have 1 half, and we divide it by 2, we will get 1 over 4. And now, we can say that log base 9 of square root of 3 equals 1 over 4. In the next example, we will evaluate log base 5 of square root of 5. We can write this square root of 5 as 5 to the power of 1 over 2. So again, we can write square root of 5 as 5 to the exponent 1 over 2. Then we can say that 5 to the power of 1 over 2 equals square root of 5. In the next example, we will evaluate log base 5 of 1 over square root of 5. So far, we know that square root of 5 is the same as 5 to the exponent 1 half. Then 1 over square root of 5 is the same as 1 over 5 to the exponent 1 half. Then if we move this 5 up to the numerator, this exponent will be negative. So this expression will be equal to 5 to the exponent negative 1 half. Then if the expression 1 over square root of 5 is the same as 5 to the exponent negative 1 half, then we can say that 5 raised to negative 1 half will be equal to 1 over square root of 5. So then the value of this logarithm is negative 1 half. In the next example, we have log 1000. Notice that in this logarithm, the base is missing. And that is because this is a special logarithm called common logarithm where the base is 10. So we can rewrite it as log base 10 of 1000. But in general, when we have a common logarithm, then we don't write the base 10. And now let's evaluate it. 10 to what power equals 1000? That would be 3, because 10 times 10 times 10 makes 1000. So again, if we raise 10 to the third power, 10 times 10 times 10 will be 1000. Now, in the next example, we will evaluate another common logarithm. This is common logarithm of 0 0.1. Then, if the base is 10, then 10 to what power is equal to 0 
that would be negative 1. And this is because 10 raised to negative 1 equals 1 over 10 to positive 1, which makes 0 0.1. And now the last logarithm we will evaluate is the natural logarithm of 1. Natural logarithm is another special logarithm where the base is e. Recall that e is a constant that is approximately 2.7. Then if the base is e, then e to what power is equal to 1? We know from the previous examples that a non-zero number raised to 0 equals 1. Then we can say that the natural logarithm of 1 equals 0. Now I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.